I agreed to all of their demands and then wake up this morning and they send out a letter saying how much they love the the First Amendment and freedom of speech, and they're so committed to it. But we're just canceling her anyway. Um, so I what do does that, what does that all mean exactly? They're canceling it. That means they're not allowing you to speak there, these supporters of the First Amendment? Um, well, we'll find out if they arrest me when I show up to give my speech. Hmm. A defiance Ann Coulter saying she still plans to speak at UC Berkeley next week. Despite the school canceling her scheduled appearance, school officials are citing safety concerns. But... Is it more about the content of her conservative message? Jonathan Hunt is live from Los Angeles. All right, Jonathan, what else are we hearing from Ms. Coulter about her plans? <laughs> well, Ann Coulter's uh, position is very simple, really, Shannon. It is that no school that accepts public funds in any way can or should ban free speech. Here's more of Ann Coulter with Tucker last night. This is a taxpayer-funded institution, um, not to mention um, lots of kids getting federal money to be there. Um, you know, Attorney General Jeff Sessions should be looking at this. Now, UC Berkeley officials say it's not about free speech. It's about the safety of students on campus, and it's about proper planning. Listen here. If we had had adequate time to work with the Berkeley College Republicans to plan for this event, to locate a venue, to let the police do the sort of security assessment they needed to do, I'm pretty confident this event would have been happening on April 27th. Ms. Coulter says it will happen on April 27th, whether the UC uh, likes it or not. Hmm. Shannon. All right, for a university known as the home of the free speech movement, um, Berkeley's been shutting down a lot of speakers recently, right? Yeah, and of course, most notoriously in February when the young and very controversial uh, conservative commentator Milo Yiannopoulos uh, was prevented from speaking. He had a speech planned. He was forced to pull out amid violent protests, something left-wing activists who battled police on campus that night considered a major victory. Others, of course, consider it a major blow to free speech and to the principle that anyone should be allowed to speak on any college campus. And then, of course, as recently as this past weekend, pro and anti Trump demonstrators fought violently at dueling demonstrations in a Berkeley park. That was part of the city of Berkeley, not on campus. But the bottom line on the Ann Coulter situation, Shannon, is this. She says she will speak. College Republicans say they will find an off campus venue. And after all, there are winners and losers in this. The left wing activists are winners. They're getting a lot of publicity for their cause. Whichever way it goes, and Coulter is probably a winner because she's mm -hmm. going to sell a lot more books thanks to this publicity. The only real loser in this, you have to say, is UC Berkeley and that long fought for reputation for being a bastion of free speech. That seems to be disappearing pretty quickly right now, Shannon. All right. Jonathan Hunt, thank you very much.